Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica. Just call me Jess. That's what I usually tell people. Um, and I just, I want to start a podcast so bad. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I have so many, like, ideas and thoughts and blah, blah, blah. And I want to make it look more professional. But honestly, I kind of am just making this just to yap. I just love yapping and I have like this um stupid microphone it was a cheap microphone that I bought um a while ago um and I don't use it at all it like works perfectly fine for like if I'm recording on my macbook but um I'm trained to be a singer and so I have logic pro x and every time I use it on logic it like doesn't fucking work so honestly I was like this cheap microphone that I have why not just use it for this anyways i'm getting off track do i have a name for this podcast no am i prepared with any topics to talk about right now absolutely not but i I don't know i'm just kind of going off the cuff right now and i really just want to start this i just feel like talking right now and um just looking at myself (laughs) i don't have the equipment that I want right now, but honestly, that doesn't mean I can't start right now because I've had this and honestly, it works perfectly fine. So, um, but yeah, this is the start of my podcast. I, a don't have a name for it. B, um, I mean, I have a YouTube channel, but I like don't really post on it, but I'm going to be posting on it now and it's going to be video and it's going to be audio. Maybe in the future, I'll just do like audio on like some streaming platform and I'll do like video on YouTube. I don't know. I have inspiration from like Britney Broski and Britney Broski only because I am such a huge Broski fan. Um, I just, I love Britney Broski so much. Um, but yeah, this is my podcast. I'm going to talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about. If that's like movies I like, music videos, music, I also will talk shit. If you like shit talking, you're going to like me. I love shit talking. But we don't... What was I even going to go with there? I was going to say, we're not going to be negative. But I mean, that's. I feel like sometimes that's kind of how shit talking works. Anyways... Um, again, I'm going off the cuff right now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know how long this podcast episode's going to be. I'm literally just talking. That's all I'm fucking doing. Um. (laughs) Um, I want to get, like, better equipment. And, like, my plan was I was going to get, like, proper equipment to film this and, like, make the podcast. But I feel like I honestly... I have nothing else better to do. And again, I have this stupid microphone that I've had. I actually... I have two microphones, actually. Fun story about that. What? Why not tell a fun story? I actually have two of these microphones. So, like I said before, I'm trying to be a singer. And so I was like, "Mm, I need a microphone in order to, like, you know, sing um, and have that go on to my computer (laughs) and so literally i i bought this microphone but it it's it worked in the first like maybe day that i had it it worked perfectly fine like i sounded good in everything and blah 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 and then the next day i sounded literally like i would speak into it and then i would listen back to it and i sounded like a fucking goblin like i sounded like a demon just came down and like touched my voice i don't know what happened so i was like oh my god this microphone's broken this microphone's broken i need a new one so you know what i did i i got a new one i basically i got this on amazon i don't remember how much i got it on amazon for but i basically was like hey my microphone's defective i'll turn this one in if you get me a new one and so i got a new one and then i kind of just never gave this one back so obviously they took my money again i have now two microphone and two adapter (laughs) two microphone two adapter um that i paid extra for and i don't fucking use um i literally and then i ended up like just not wanting to use it at all because um i got the new microphone and I still sounded like shit. I still sounded like shit. So you know what? 
why not use it for this why not use it for this i literally was about to drop like over a hundred bucks for a better microphone just to start this podcast but i have this do i sound okay is the audio okay if it sounds a little shitty it's because i'm using a shitty little microphone and you know what that's okay I'm working on a bi-weekly budget right now. So you know what? Funds is something I don't have. <laughs> on week two of a bi-weekly budget, I'm eating sugar packets and, sh- and salt packets. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I live with my family. They feed me well. I love you, mom. Anyways, this is my podcast. And like I said before, I have like a, like I have so many like things I want to talk about and like ideas of i don't know podcast ideas and things i want to talk about so if you like me and you want to hear me talk you can if you don't want to listen to me talk that's okay i'll probably post anyways um because i can i'm literally just a girl that's all i am um let me talk about myself my favorite topic um like I said before, my name is Jess. I am currently 18. I'm turning 19 very, very soon. Um, i trying to remember. I think we're down to 12 days until I turn 19. My birthday is so soon. So soon. Um, my favorite color is orange. My favorite artist is Billie Eilish. I have like a bunch of Billie Eilish posters around the room. Um, I'm a lesbian. Reppin'. Reppin' the fucking queers. Got my fucking brown bag right here. Hell yeah, brother. Hot queer as fuck. Don't look at me. Um, Literally, I these are my little ties. These are my ties hanging. I'm in my bedroom. This is my bedroom, by the way. Um, I'm literally just sitting in bed talking. Because I have nothing else better to do. My Wi-Fi is actually acting up so bad right now, and I want to play Minecraft, and I want to, like, watch YouTube videos, but I can't. Because my Wi-Fi is shit. Fuck yeah. Um, I actually just heard my brother, like, ranting to my dad about the fact that the Wi-Fi is shit. The thing is, with me, is, like, if my Wi-Fi is shit, I have so many, like, little hobbies that, I mean, it bothers me because I want to watch my silly YouTube videos, I want to watch my silly little Cody Ko YouTube videos, my silly little Brittany Broski YouTube videos. I want to watch my chicken shop date. I want to watch my YouTube videos. But if I don't have Wi-Fi, I have so many different hobbies because I'm just like so cool and I'm like so amazing. And like I'm 6'3 and I'm the CEO of Amazon. Not true, by the way. Just a joke. I promise. I'm joking, unfortunately. Um... But I have so many little hobbies. Like, I love makeup. And, like, I love, like, Chapel Roan style makeup. I am, like, obsessed with, like, painting my fa- face white. I think that's so fun. And um, I-, I love makeup so much. I can go on a whole rant about makeup right now. Honestly, why don't I? Let's talk about makeup, bitch. Um, I don't look... Currently, I'm looking... Uh, I just got, I literally just hopped out of the shower. So I'm looking, I'm giving very much, uh, naked mole rat. I'm giving very much no makeup on. This is my hair. It's curly. Um, but I love makeup. I wear it a lot. This is great. I said, let's talk about makeup. I'm really talking about makeup right now. Um, (laughs) um, but I started like really getting into makeup probably during quarantine and i'm not gonna like pull up photos of what i used to do because it used to look like shit um but i love like little i love just like fucking doing art on my face i don't see it as like oh i'm covering up my insecurities i take it as um my face is a fucking canvas and bitch i'm gonna paint also i cuss if you don't like cussing, you're not going to like me. I cuss a lot. It's a problem. I also have ADHD. 
and I don't take my meds. Is that oversharing? I don't care. Um, so I'm going to be changing the topic a lot. People, keep up with me. Keep up with me. I feel like I'm a lot right now. <laughs> um, makeup. We're talking about makeup. I love makeup. I love doodling on my face. I love being art. I love painting my face white and putting clown makeup on. Not because I'm a silly fool, but because I feel like it. I like doing shit like that. And I love and appreciate makeup artists and, and drag artists. And like, I have such a love and appreciation for makeup. It runs so deep into my blood. I can go on and on about how much I love makeup, but clearly I just, I clearly I just did. Clearly I just did. Anyways, another one of my hobbies. Um, I like writing. I don't really do that much. Uh, I've been doing it a lot more recently. Um, but like I said before, if you guys weren't listening to me previously, I'm trying to become a singer. <laughs> And I'm trying to write my own stuff. I also like writing poetry. I also just like write in my notes app when I'm feeling depressed because I'm mentally ill. Um, but yeah, I like writing. I like makeup. I love singing. Did you catch that I'm like trying to be a singer? Hey guys, did you know I'm trying to be a singer? I have no music out. That's not true. I have, like, SoundCloud songs from when I was 16 out on SoundCloud, if you didn't catch that. I have SoundCloud songs on my SoundCloud from when I'm 16. And I'm not talking about, like, I'm a, a SoundCloud rapper. That's not what I was trying to be. I was like, oh, I found this boot. <sighs> I found this boot. Yes, I found I found that boot, girl. I found boot. I find like y beats on YouTube and I would like use one of those sketchy like audio and like YouTube to MP3 like sketchy websites to download them um and then use them and then I use BandLab. It's so like <laughs> it's so makeshift. Like I used to use um, like literally an Apple earbud, like the wire ones, the little tiny like microphone. That's what I use to make the music. Honestly, honestly, it fucking worked. It worked because it doesn't sound like shit. Obviously, it's not like Grammy level fucking music because I'm making music in my bedroom with an Apple earbud microphone it's gonna be a little shitty but like it's not terrible am i being biased probably but like for 16 it wasn't like horrible um again i'm gonna be biased because it's me um if you want to listen to my music you can up to you i haven't released a song since i was 17 and i'm about to turn 19 so it's been a hot minute. It's been a very, very hot minute. Um, but I'm, I'm really trying to like get back into it again. I want to actually like release music on Spotify, on Apple Music, like on like streaming platforms um, that people will actually. Use. I'm not saying that people don't use SoundCloud. It's just like most people don't use soundcloud i use soundcloud occasionally i love soundcloud they have like my favorite unreleased frank ocean songs on there my my favorite unreleased billy eilish and beyonce songs on there and like the silly songs that doja cats make do you guys know doja cat like i know doja cat what do you know about trash man by doja cat i bet you don't because you don't use soundcloud Go on SoundCloud and listen to Trash Man by Doja Cat. It's a fucking banger. Is it on Spotify? No. Is it on Apple Music? No. But it's on SoundCloud. Justice for SoundCloud. Not the SoundCloud rappers, but like... The unreleased shit is so good. I love finding out... Well, no. First, I find a song on TikTok. Of course it's TikTok because where else would I find a song? 
um, first I find a song, and I'm like, oh my god, it's so good. I look for it on Apple Music, and then I get disappointed that it's not on Apple Music. So then I look at it on SoundCloud, and oh my god, it's there. My favorite artist's unreleased music. Thank you, people. Thank you, people, for releasing that shit. I feel bad for the artist because they definitely don't want those songs out there. But am I streaming it? Hell yeah, brother. I love that shit. Please, let me listen to that Ariana Grande leak that she hates that is out. What is it? Uh, I fantasize about it all the time. You and mine. I'm streaming that shit. Get me on the fucking Billie Eilish unreleased shit. It's so good. Does she hate it? Hell yeah. Do I hate it? Hell no. It's fucking good to me. Get me on the fucking Donk by Beyonce. Who do you think you are? I love Beyonce. The who do you think you are was so out of context, but honestly, whatever. It's my podcast. Like, I love streaming unreleased songs from artists. They're, they're so good. They're so good. Frank Ocean. There's one Frank Ocean one that I've been obsessed with recently, and now I need to find it. This is going to take me a second. But I literally, if you go look at, like, my SoundCloud playlist, it's mostly, like, unreleased songs from artists, like, mainstream artists. Let me look at my like tracks. Pyrite by Frank Ocean. What you know about Pyrite by Frank Ocean? Look at this shit. It's mirrored. You're not going to be able to see it correctly. Pyrite by Frank Ocean. Light Again by Little Nas X. That shit eats, by the way. I listen to Light Again, Light, Light Again by Little Nas X and think that I can Vogue and I can't. Uh, it's literally me and my fantasy like whipping around my hair lack thereof actually not lack thereof because my hair's thick um i can't vogue for shit i wish i could vogue that would be so cool if i could vogue i would be the cuntiest bitch alive honestly anyways more songs on my soundcloud like tracks because i can't talk about if i want to yummy by aisha erotica i'm pretty sure that's on streaming services actually um you may be wondering, Jessica, don't call me Jessica. <laughs> Why am I calling myself Jessica? Jess, what streaming service do you use? Do you use Spotify? Do you use Apple Music? If you use Apple Music, you're a red flag. Guys, I guess I'm a red flag. I don't use Spotify. I tried to hop on like the Spotify bandwagon so many times. I just can't get into it. It's just a personal preference, I swear. Like Most of middle school was just me going back and forth from don't judge me youtube and soundcloud and spotify like i would go between the three i'm supposed to be looking up aisha erotica right now i'm like i was going between all three in middle school and i was just like see i like them but they don't give me what i want like every every single thing has a little thing that i liked for example I'm going to uninclude YouTube in this. Even though I used it exclusively in 7th grade, we're going to disregard that. We're just going to talk about SoundCloud and Spotify. Spotify, I liked that it had like all of the, the sh- mainstream songs that I liked and I could listen to those songs. Hated the ads. And now you could be like, Jess, just play for Spotify Premium. I didn't want to fucking pay for Spotify. Sp- blah, 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 blah. I didn't want to pay for Spotify Premium. Who do you think I am? I'm in eighth grade. I have no job, no money. My mommy's not going to pay for Spotify Premium. Yummy is on Apple Music, um, but it's also on SoundCloud. The thing I liked about SoundCloud is I, I kind of, I like how it's formatted, if that makes sense. Hate ads. I hate ads with a burning passion, and I'm not going to pay money to get rid of ads. Am I paying for Apple Music? Yes, I am. Are there ads? No, bitch. There's no me- There's no ads. But the one fault about SoundCloud is if there's a mainstream song that you want to listen to, like say you want to listen to Rules by Doja Cat, you can't because you need to fu- you need to fucking pay for whatever the fuck 
uh, SoundCloud has. Next Pro for artists. I don't think that's it. Anyways. I didn't want to pay for that shit. Um, I started using Apple Music when Billie Eilish and her father, like, began a radio together because I'm obsessed with her. So I was like, oh my god, Billie Eilish and her father have a radio thing together. I need to listen to it, but I need to have Apple Music. So I got, like, the free trial, and ever since then, I love Apple Music. Like, Apple Music is my ride or die. I will I will stand on the fact that I love Apple Music so much. Do I pay for it? I actually I actually don't pay for it. I used to. No, actually, my mom used to buy me like the yearly subscription for my birthday. So it would the year thing would renew on my birthday. My mom would just pay for it as my birthday gift and that's just how I used to pay for it. Um, but currently, my father uses it. So he, we ha- we're on like the family plan. But I love Apple Music. I don't think I could ever get back into just using SoundCloud again or just using Spotify again. It's nice to like go back to those old streaming platforms and like listen to like the pl- old playlists that I used to have in like middle school and stuff like that. That's so cute. But I just, I can't stick with those streaming services. Not because, like, oh, they're horrible, they're trash. It's just, like, my personal preference. I don't like. Anyways, back to where I was. Um, Yummy by Aisha Erotica is on Apple Music, but I um, only exclusively listen to it on SoundCloud. Um, Next is the You Can Meet Me at My Hotel Aisha Erotica, like, remix. The... You Can Meet Me at My Hotel... Yeah, that shit. Love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm not talking about Camila Cabello. Um, next, of course, Fantasize Ariana Grande. Unreleased song. So good. It's so good. Next, Good Decoration, Frank Ocean. Again, more unreleased music. I love unreleased music by artists. And that is why I use SoundCloud. Just so that I can hear those silly little songs. Because they're not on SoundCloud. They're on SoundCloud. They're not on Spotify. They're not on Apple Music. They're on SoundCloud, though. So, Next, Beyonce, Donk. I'm streaming the fuck out of that shit. I'm not going to talk about the next one. Um, Blind Faith, Drake, and Billie Eilish. I actually don't really want... I don't really listen to that one. I listen to it more for the Billie part, not the Drake part. And we're not going to talk about Drake because fuck that man. Certified lover boy. Certified pedophile. Anyways... Um, next two are Doja Cat songs. Her cover, um, What You Wanted. Tell me what you wanting, but you anything you want, but I want the show. Love that shit. Love Doja Cat. Again, what do you know about Trash Man by Doja Cat? Let me put this shit on. Um, I'm only going to do a little bleep of it because I don't want to get, can I get copywritten on a thing, on this thing? I don't know. Let me see if I can find it. Trash Man is the shit. Trash Man, again. What you know about Trash Man? He is the trash man. He do what he can. Can't do what he can. Because he's the trash man. Um, I actually just shared that song with a friend recently. Um, and she thought it was really good. Because it is. Because, again... Trash Man by Doja Cat. Y'all wouldn't know if y'all wouldn't know. You don't know what it is because you're not on SoundCloud. Listen to this shit. Trash Man! (laughs) Trash Man! Trash Man! Trash Man! What do you know about Trash Man by Doja Cat? You don't know shit! I love, like, underground songs by mainstream artists. I love unreleased music by artists. Especially when I get, like, 
those little like Frank Ocean unreleased songs, it like fulfills me in a way because he doesn't like release music anymore. And that makes me so depressed because I love him so much. So being able to listen to like his unreleased music, even though he probably doesn't want those songs out there. I swear I'm doing it justice. Um, but yeah, I just, I love music. I could go on a whole rampage about music. I have so many ideas of like music things I want to talk about. I have so many ideas of like film things I want to talk about because another hobby of mine is, um, directing and, uh, just like anything to do with directing, like short films, movies, fucking writing, I can pretty much do it all. I'm just going to list all of my amazing attributes because, guys, I'm a 10 out of 10. I'm a green flag. Please pick me. Pick me, choose me, love me. I can produce. I can direct. I can create music. I can I can write. I can edit. I can do it all, bitch. Thank you, Studio 107. Shout out. Got a tattoo de- dedicated to them. Love you guys. Anyways, they gave me most of my ability. Well, the abilities were within me, but, um, oh my god, Ken by Billie Eilish. I know it's literally, like, a little snippet that they just play over and over again, but oh my god, is it good. Billie doesn't like that that song's out, and honestly, I understand, like, it's probably really weird to have a song that you wrote when you were, like, fucking four out. She wasn't four. I'm just, like, being exaggerating. Oh, fun fact about me. Again, I have ADHD, so please try and keep up with me. What was the fun fact? I don't even remember what the fun fact was going to be. Um... Hey guys, I have ADHD. I literally don't remember what the fun fact about me was going to be. Um, we were talking about Billie Eilish. We are talking about... Oh! I remember what the fun fact's gonna be. I'm really overdramatic. I am overdramatic. And not in the way that it's just like, I overdramatize. Is that the word? Over, over... I don't fucking know. I... Ugh. How do I explain this? Like, I'm overdramatic in the way, like, I stub my toe, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, overdramatic. Well, not like that, because that's stupid. More of just, like, um, I'm, like, stupidly overdramatic, if that makes sense. Like, if I do something, like, I kick a chair or something like that, not, well, stubbing my toe, that's, like, kind of, like, the same thing. Like, if I hit my head or something. No. Ooh, I have a good I have a good example. If I see something that I really like, I will gasp really loud. Like I'll go <gasps> like I'll have people around me and I'll be watching something and I'll be like <gasps> and people will be like, "Oh my god, what's wrong?" And I'm like, "Oh, look at this Billie Eilish edit. She's so hot." I'm, I talk about her a lot, by the way. She is my wife. Also, another podcast episode we will get into my list of wives as a lesbian i have my list of wives i will be talking about that in a future episode but like i can be really over dramatic in a way that's like stupid i hope i don't annoy people <laughs> um i probably would annoy some people because that's like not really also i'm moving around a lot please don't mind that i'm moving around a lot um again didn't know, didn't know if I told you guys, I got ADHD and I'm heavily unmedicated. If you go, if you thought I was about to say heavily medicated, you are incorrect, baby. Uh, unmedicated and going strong. This podcast is already almost going on for a half an hour. I've talked for almost a half an hour. Um, we we're talking about hobbies. So, We talked about the fact that I am in love with music and I love everything to do with music. We talked a little bit about filming, that I love filming. We talked a little bit about makeup because I love makeup. What's some other things I like doing? Um, um, I like taking pretty pictures of myself and posting on Instagram, um, for people to like it because I want people to like me. No, that's not, that's not how I am. Um, what else is there? 
I'm funny as fuck and I got a great rack. Not. That's not true. Um... What other hobbies? Oh, I read sometimes. I I read occasionally. I'm a bit of a bookworm if you if you if you dare. Um, and by bookworm, I mean I only stick to one genre and one genre only, and that is thriller. I love myself like a murder mystery. Murder mysteries are so fucking good. I love murder mysteries. Um, but the current book I'm reading is Jeanette McCarty's book. Um, I'm glad that my mother's dead. I think that's the name of the book. I'm currently reading that, which is like very not what I read, but I've only seen, I've only heard like good reviews about the book. And so I'm like, okay guys, like I'm going to read it now. Not because the hype, but because like I love Jeanette McCurdy. Um, and I haven't really, really, I'm like on the first page so I haven't really gotten into it, but that's the current book I'm reading right now. The last book I read, um, I, my stack of books is over like on my floor. All of them are from the library, except the Jeanette McCarty one. I bought that one from Barnes and Noble. Um, but my overdue library books are on the ground right now. The last book that I read, the last book that I read, the last book that I read was really good. Um, I need to go grab it because I don't remember the name of it. Okay, the last book that I read is called Have You Seen My Sister? It says she's gone and everyone has something to hide. And this book was really fucking good. I'll read you the back color cover of it. Gia Gill is missing. Gia is beautiful and smart and has everything to look forward to. But on the night of her going away party at the winter resort she's been working at, she disappears without a trace. Her younger sister, Esme, is supposed to be flying back to England with her family after their vacation with Gaia. I think it's Gaia. Did I say Gia? I meant Gaia. Her name's Gaia. Um, her younger sister, Esme, is supposed to be flying back to England with her family after their vacation with Gaia. But how can they leave when Gaia is gone? Especially because no one remembers Gaia leaving the party. Or, if they do, they're not saying. Everyone has their own secrets. The little rich girl, the ex-boyfriend, the ski instructor, the failed reality star. Esme's out of her depth, searching the dark, dangerous forests and icy slopes of Moon Mountain till she teams up with a local boy who promises to help. But the clock is ticking longer guy is missing the least likely it is she'll make it back da -da -da, alive and it is up to esme to piece to gather the clues of her final hours before it's too late this book was so fucking good like it actually had me on my feet it was so good i feel like i can say that all about a lot of books especially like my my favorite like um thriller trilogy but this book is so fucking good and it was kind of like i go through like reading phases where I like get really into reading and I'm reading all the time and I always have a book with me 24 7 and then it's just like nothing for months and months and months so this book was kind of like my transition back into trying to read again I feel like it always happens like summer to fall I read a lot and then like uh winter to spring I I, I don't know it kind of it just like comes and goes in phases so this book was like my transition into going back into reading again and it was such a good book to start with because genuinely like it was so captivating and it was so good and like I didn't see anything coming I I couldn't figure out who it was and usually I like to like figure figure out how it ends and I, I couldn't I feel like I sound like every other person when I who talks about murder mysteries but genuinely like I I couldn't figure it out um like, everyone seemed like they could have done it. Everyone had a fucking motive. It was so good. Like, genuinely so good. I just have so many little things that I can talk about on and on and on. Um, but basically, this is the introduction to my podcast. We are almost at 35 minutes, and I feel like this is uh, a good time to wrap up. I kind of gave, like, a little bit of a, hey, this is me. This is who I am. Um, I'm not gonna talk about, like, boring shit, I promise. I'm gonna talk about, like, 
I'm gonna talk about the shit that I want to. If you want to listen, you can. I'm gonna give like little in the I'm gonna do like little episodes and shit like that of like different things I want to talk about. And if you want to listen, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Like I'm not gonna fucking force you to. I'm not gonna sit you down and force you to listen to me talk because if you don't want to listen to me talk, like that's on you, baby. Um, but um, yeah, this is my podcast and. I'm not going to have a regular schedule because that's not who I am. I'm not, I don't, I don't do schedules because I'm unorganized as fuck. Um, and this is just like my little introduction to my podcast. I'm going to talk about things that I like. I'm going to talk about real shit. If I shed a tear sometimes, I will. Um, but I've wanted a podcast for so fucking long. Like, genuinely, I've wanted to start my own podcast for so long, and this is something that I wanted so bad for such a long time, and I originally, I wanted to do it with another person, but it got to the point where I was getting a little tired of waiting for someone to commit, and I was just like, fuck it, why don't I just do it myself? Like, I can just keep talking. I mean, obviously, I can keep talking because this video has been going on for a while, Um, but yeah, this is my podcast, and it doesn't have a name yet. I'll probably think of a name eventually. Um, uh, welcome. If you want to listen, you can. My name is Jess. This is my podcast. Uh, yeah. Bye.